What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing some more unpackings. Magic the Gathering unpackings. Do not bend. Don't. Don't do it. Don't bend. Aggressive. He's aggressively ripping things. He's a monster. Get rid of that. <clears throat> Looks like we got some something old, something new. Something purchased, something blue, mm, yes. See, these are these are nice. There's probably only like five cards in this whole thing, but they're, they're play sets, you know? These are more cards I picked up from Lord of the Rings because I just liked the alternate cool play sets. This is Tireless Provisioner. This was printed in Modern Horizons 2, I believe, and it was like a, it was kind of like a tireless tracker that made treasures and food instead, um, which is real cool. It doesn't get plus one, plus one whenever you crack it though. So obviously tireless tracker is better, but it's a rare. So we got four of those guys. Two more Moria Marauders. You know, I love this guy, big fan. That makes the play set. Four go for the throat, because really what's cooler than a go for the throat with Golem going for the throat? Like that's, that's cool. And I guess this is just a cool card, man. That's a sweet, sweet go for the throw version. I also really love this Notion Thief art. Um, there's a couple decks in Pioneer that are playing Notion Thief along with Days Undoing and Narset and like a Gaia Reach Sanctum, Sanitarium or Sanctum. You know the one, the one that draws, each player draws a card and discards a card. So you do it on their turn and then they can't draw, they just discard. And I just think this is a really cool alternate art notion thief. So I picked up four of those guys. Plague Bearer, this, this little gem is a Ron Spencer art. Always a pleasure, Ron Spencer. And this guy is uh, pre-modern. This is for pre-modern. Again, for those who don't know, pre-modern is a new format. It's unsanctioned, it's an unofficial format. The same way like modern was before it became official. But pre-modern is probably gonna have a little bit harder of a time to become an official format because they'll never sell packs for it. Uh, pre-modern is literally, what's the first set in pre-modern? I actually don't, I don't remember the first set. Um, but the last set is the set right before eighth edition, which has the modern frames. So I, I believe that is Scourge. But yeah, Dust Bowl, two Dust Bowls. Uh, a very, very playable card in pre-modern. So I picked up two Dust Bowls. Two more Alexi's Cloaks. That makes a play set. This is literally just like a flash counter spell that you put on a creature and then they can't be targeted. Two, pro two Propagandas. This one looks a little faded. Sometimes you're just like, is this? Is this actually MP? Probably. And then we have four Considers. I, I like this Consider art a lot. I currently use the promo pack consider which is the ones with like the darker frames but yeah these look cool it's just is it Gandalf I assume on the oh it's Saruman it's Saruman on the on the tower and feed the swarm so I basically picked up like the Lord of the Rings cards that were playable cards that are already seen play like all the commons and uncommons that like already see play um I just picked up play sets in case I wanted to use those instead I'm gonna make this video a little shorter. Usually these are about 20 to 30 minutes, which might be a little too long. So we're gonna see if hitting that 10 minute mark makes it a little bit more digestible for people. Oh yes, exciting. That's funny, there's a little little smudge right there. So I picked up these for my pre-modern, remember I showed you guys the pre-modern swamps I was using, the portal swamps. These are portal second age uh, mountains. And this is literally one of my favorite mountains of all time. I'm not 100% that I'm gonna use it for pre-modern. And the reason is I already use this for my Vintage Cube. This is the same mountain I use for Vintage Cube. So I kind of wanted to do something different, but it's also been really hard to find a mountain I like better than this one. The color is perfect. The landscape is perfect. It's Rob Alexander, who is one of the best magic land artists that have ever lived, you know, uh, next to like John Avon, you know. Um, so I'm not sure which direction I'm gonna go with that, but 
those are there. I picked up, I picked them up because they were like a dollar each. So they're really not expensive. It's funny, most of the stuff I'm picking up is like not super expensive. Like I'll spend like a hundred bucks and get like 150 cards and it's just kind of satisfying because it's like, these are just cool cards that I like. This one, I'm, oh, no, we can take it out. It's got a, it's got a lot of tape on its, on its thing. But this is an MP. Dude, there's so many, there's so many different like dragon shields that I'm like, which way do I, which way do I get it out? This actually looks really good for MP, I think. Yeah. I mean, there's like a little nick up here. But that's it. I mean, it looks looks really solid. It looks, I, I mean, like other than that, it's, it looks very LP. Powder keg I had one of, now I have two. So that's another for the old, for the old pre-modern. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is one of the trickiest, this is one of the trickiest decisions I had to make when it comes to pre-modern. Fifth edition animate dead. So several options for this. I can go with the revised animate dead, which has a more washed out look. I can go with the fourth edition, which is fine. Or I can go with fifth edition. And I already have, I believe it was reprinted in like Eternal Masters. But for like pre-modern, I really, like I said, I want to go with all the older frames when possible. I just wish this had a black border older frame. <laughs> it does not currently. There's no retro frame animate dead. But this Anson Maddox art is super cool. Like the contrast between the black or the, the blue skeletons with the red in the background, like it's just such great iconic art. Obviously I would pick up betas if, um, tell you what, if I get a, if I, if I get this new job that I interviewed for just today, uh, which is Friday, July 14th, if I get this job, I'll pick up some beta animate deads. <laughs> if I don't, we'll just keep waiting. So yeah, that's cool. So that's, that's my third of four. So I need two more fifth edition. I also have a play set of fourth edition. No, I don't. I don't have any fourth edition, I think. This one's taped in here, but that's okay. I, I don't mind it because they used... Yep, yeah, all right, wow, it just ripped the whole... The whole envelope ripped before the tape did. <laughs> they used the shipping shield, so it's okay. Look at this. This is, like, beautiful. Oh, wow. How funny. It's just another animate dead. <laughs> Two animate deads. And sometimes like it's really you want to like make sure that they are fifth edition when you order fifth edition because a lot of these sets didn't have uh, numbers or icons so they're both 1997. If it says 1997, it's fifth edition. If it says 1995, it's fourth edition. And fourth and fifth look very very similar. All right, we can do a couple more. Oh, beautiful. This one. <laughs> I really dis I, I don't like when the when the cards get too close to the top where I'm like oh look you're you're like right up there but yeah this is just two more of those those gorgeous swamps that I, I absolutely just adore absolutely adore so there might be better basic lands that I like more but they're all like European or Asian lands that are like $80 per basic, which is utterly insane. Like I just can't justify that. There's definitely some really, really gorgeous basics from those sets, but they're all between like 30 bucks and 80 bucks per land because they're just so limited. Opening, opening packs feels like it's Christmas and you're just opening your presents. And I'm like, wow, you really packed this well, grandma. Thanks. Grandma, you got tape on my PlayStation. Okay. So this one we got the remaining three Urza's workshops. Again, these are like 20 cents. Not a huge, not a huge investment. And then one propaganda. So that actually makes four propagandas and four Urza's workshops. It's always satisfying when like you, you get the full play set in. You're like, okay, good. It's all done now. I don't have to, I don't have to worry about whether this last one's going to come, whether I'm only going to have three, whether I'm going to have to reorder something. Speaking of which, I did want to give a shout out. If you guys remember in the last episode, I showed off that Rotlung reanimator that was fairly worse than MP. It had the crease down the center with the color break. 
Um, I reached out to the seller, Totally Lost Games, on TCG Player. And they just refunded me. They were just like, you know what? Sometimes we mess up on grading. No, don't worry about it. Keep the card. It's all yours. And that was like super great. So shout out to Totally Lost Games on TCG Player. I would, I would feel super comfortable ordering from them again. They, they responded within like an hour and a half, like two hours that same night. They just refunded the whole order and I get to keep the Rotlang reanimator. So super cool, great customer service. Totally, totally great, great job by Totally Lost Games. And the last one we're gonna open is Apex Altasaur. This is a card that's actually seeing some play in Legacy. When it enters the battlefield, it fights up to one creature you can, don't control. And then whenever it's dealt damage, it fights another creature. So it literally just like <laughs> machine guns all of their creatures, you know, theoretically. It's a 10-10, so it can survive a bit. If they have nine power worth of creatures, you could probably just kill them all. And that's cool. I wonder if I even want the, a, a copy of this in my cube. I think this guy's like five bucks now, something like that. But yeah, it's just a cool inclusion. It's a one of in some legacy decks. So I figured I'd pick one up. And that's what we got today. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying these. Trying to keep it a little shorter. This is around 11 minutes, I think. But yeah, hopefully you guys like that. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys.